Hi hey everybody, in this segment we're going to talk about solving a system of equations using the TI calculator. Uh, in a previous video I talked about using elimination or substitution, and those are kind of the typical methods that you learn in, in algebra, but this is just a little bit of a shortcut. Um, so when you turn on a TI calculator, um, you push on, and if you want to graph something you push y equals, and you'll see that you have all these prompts, y1, y2, those are just different equations you can graph together. And the thing you'll notice is you have y equals. And that means that with your existing equations, oops, uh, you need to get y equals something for these. So we're going to have to do a little bit of algebra to make that happen. Um, for this, we'll start with uh, maybe 2x plus y equals 9. Uh, to get the y by itself here, I'm going to do minus 2x on both sides and cancel out the 2x. And here you get y equals 9 minus 2x. So that's equation 1. And then the other one, uh, 5x minus 3y equals negative 5. To get the y by itself here, it's going to be an extra step. We're going to take away 5x from both sides, make a little line there. So you get minus 3y equals minus 5x minus 5. Then we're going to have to divide by negative 3 to get y by itself. So divide this and this and everything by negative 3. y equals 5 thirds x plus 5 thirds. So what we're going to do is we're going to graph these and then the whole point of finding a solution to a system of equations is to find where the lines cross each other. So, you know, if you have, uh, you know, say we just have, I'm just going to draw some generic uh, lines. Say you have that line and that line, that would be their solution where they cross. So we're looking for where these lines cross each other. So I'm going to type these into my calculator. We'll move the paper up for now so you can see everything. Uh, for starters, I'm going to do y equals 9 and then minus uh, 2 and the x is up here. And it could be minus 2x plus 9, the order doesn't matter. We'll go down. I'm going to do 5 thirds x plus 5 thirds. 5 thirds will be just in parentheses like that x plus 5 thirds. So we've typed in both my equations and now we're going to hit graph. So, uh, and you might have to push zoom. 6 if your calculator has a different window. That's Zoom standard. I was already in Zoom standard, but if you need to reset it, you can. Uh, so I'm now looking for this point right here. You see where they cross each other? It looks to be about 2 something. Um, you can kind of try and eyeball it, or you can make the calculator find it itself. So I'm going to do that in the calc menu right here. Second, calc. And we're going to go pick option 5, which is intersect. Oops. And then it says, what's the first curve? So you move your little cursor with the arrow keys. You can see it's that little cursor is on this line right here. So I'm just going to hit enter and say, that's my first curve. And then what's the second curve? You can kind of see your cursor moving around a little bit. And that looks like my second curve. So hit enter. And then it says, guess where you think the intersection point is. This is just a little step that allows the calculator to kind of know ballpark where you think it should be. It helps the calculator find it more quickly. Hit enter, and uh, 2 comma 5 is my solution. So x is 2 and y is 5. And uh, so that's it. That's how you make a um, uh, solve a system of equations on a TI calculator. Like I said, you could have done uh, elimination by maybe multiplying the bottom by 3 and adding them, or you could have done substitution by solving this for y and plugging it in up here. But this makes it really simple. Uh, so I hope this helps. You guys have a good day.